people are at their wit's end in dealing with the pigs, especially people with farms. So um, there's trapping regimes, there's aerial gunning regimes. They'll go out at nighttime and shoot them night vision if they can. Just just anything they can they can do to to try and keep the numbers down. And these these pigs were of course trapped. So we're making a brine for the pig. Um, we were gonna do a, a, what's it called? Our dry rub, but it got really late and we haven't done as good of a job cleaning the pig as we wanted to. Basically, it's been a bit of a disaster. We tried to go hunting, that didn't work. And then we drove to get a pig and that worked and then Mira you got mad at me because you had to be around when the pig was being killed or nearby and then we got it back and we were gonna do boiling it we we're gonna fill this with water and dump it over and that's a good way of cleaning the pig the person who was supposed to have the the burner didn't have it um, so we ended up doing like super old school style of um, burning off the hair with hay. It didn't do an amazing job. So um, I made a brine out of um, tamarind and some chilies and some Mexican um, sugar, brown sugar and stuff like that. So to do a fast brine, what you do is you mix your hot water with ice and then it balances out. This is the heart of the pig that we killed today. So what we're gonna do is um, cut out the ventricles, the little veins that go into it to pump the blood out to the rest of the body, because uh, those will be really rubbery. And um, we're gonna cut it into really thin, thin slices, and then we're gonna marinate it overnight. And then tomorrow we're gonna grill it for some sort of appetizer. All right, so we've got our pig cooking, or it's almost done. Um, and the hearts that we mar the heart that we marinated last night is all nice and tender and whatnot. Um, so we're just gonna make a quick salad, and then we're gonna go grill those beef hearts and chop it up and mix it in with the salad. And that's gonna be it. Sorry, right, guys, if, any if anyone wants to try some of that uh, wild pig heart with the uh, cucumber and scallions and stuff, so what, what most people call um, wild boar in Texas are actually just feral hogs. And um, basically when the Spanish came over here, they needed something to eat, and they brought with them a lot of pigs. 
Um, but at that time, they didn't have sufficient cultivation to actually have pigs in pens, per se. So they, they would have a pig for a little bit, and then they would turn them out into river bottoms and things like that, and then collect them up in the spring once they had fattened up. And so that went on for many years. But ultimately, um, pigs raised in farms and, and, and you know, commercial feedlots became more dominant, and those pigs were sort of left to their own devices and have now basically become wild. And uh, there's lots and lots of them in Texas. I think the current estimate is like three or four million of them. And it's probably too much for the landscape to bear at the moment. Because they're a non-native species and they are classified as exotic and invasive, the state's goal would be to take them down to the lowest number possible, ideally zero. That's impossible. The rate of reproduction is so high, they're might I mean they're part of Texas forever. Allow me.